Dear students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to explain about the inversal hashing. So, what is inversal hashing? Inversal hashing is is a family of hash function that can be efficiently computed by using the randomly selected hash function. And the goal of the inversal hashing is to minimize the number of collision between the between two distinct key. So far, we have explained many collision resolution technique, linear probing, separate chaining, uh, quadratic probing, double hashing. All these collision resolution technique is using the fixed hash function for the linear, separate and quadratic all is using single hash function for every element and then calculating the index and storing in the hash table. Because of that reason, because of single hash function, they are getting more number of number of collision. Even they were get, they are having some problems for linear problem primary clustering prob problem and sec secondary clustering problem also there for the uh, quadratic uh, quadratic is having the uh, secondary secondary clustering problem and separate chaining uh, wasting the space they have a space but still uh, they are not utilizing the their space so that was the problem with that all these college and generation technique so what inversal hashing is saying that better to using single hash function if you see here if you are going to use a single Single hash function for this element, you will get that many collision. You will get that four collision. If it is, you are going to use single hash function for this element. You will get that four collision. But because for for that reason, inversal hashing is saying that better to use that family of the hash function. There is a set of hash function is given, and for every element, you do select the random and uh, random hash function, and then calculate the index and do store in the hash table. So if you are going to select the random hash function, that random hash function will give you the different index. So you will going to reduce the number of collision, and that's the goal of the inversal hashing. That's the goal of the inversal hashing to reduce the number of collision, and that's why the inversal hashing is making random randomness. It's it's increasing the randomness degree of the randomness. It's increasing because for every element you are selecting the random hash function, and because of that reason you are getting the different index, and that the reason you are reducing the number of collision. Right here also saying that the h h is nothing but a hash function is a finite collection of hash function. Here I am saying that the family of hash function it means that the number of hash function is finite. I am not saying that infinite. Uh, has number of hash function is finite and that too mostly is taking the prime number the large prime number that much hash function you have to make that one family and out of that for every element select the random hash function and do calculate index and then store in the hash table then still there is some exception sometimes exception also occur like that after the selection of the random hash function after selection of the random hash function still possible that if two element if two element that do not same but their hash function is giving the same index if it is index is giving same then possibly that the number of uh, sorry the chance of the collision for this even this situation come Mostly, if you get the different index, then it means that there will be no collision. Mostly, you will not going to get the collision. But exception will be there still uh, after the selection of the random hash function. Still, you will get sometime collision, and the chance of the collision is one by m. This chance of the collision is one by m. One scientist has already proved it about this one. Uh, big theorem of uh, this uh, uh, of this uh, collision one by m. They have proved it. So if it is if it is if the number is different if it is two element is different even hash is also different but you are getting the index is same for that reason you will get the collision the chance of the collision is one by m. Using the graphical representation, I'm going to explain the inversal hashing. So suppose this is my set of key. This is my set of key. Means we can say that my inverse of key. This is my inverse of key. And now I'm going to store my this inverse of key in my hash table. So for every element, for every element, I will going to select the one random hash function. And then after the random function, hash function, we'll calculate the index. And then we'll store the we store the uh, 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 this element in the hash table. 
so after for for 23rd we're going to store the another hash function means randomly we were going to select it for 23 randomly we'll select the some index uh, sorry hash function and then after we'll calculate the index using that hash function and then we're going to store the in the hash table so if you follow this procedure while uh, selection of the uh, uh, random selection random selection of the hash function and then calculate the index you always get a different index because you are not using the single hash function if it is single hash function there is a more chance of getting the same index value but here the random because of the random hash function there is a very less chance of getting the same index and this is all about the inversal hashing and this is the goal of the inversal hashing to reduce the number of collision to reduce the getting the same index next i will tell you that advantage and disadvantage just now i have explained with the graphical representation and if you observe you can easily understand the advantage and disadvantage disadvantage is what i first explain the disadvantage disadvantage is that what it is saying that you are doing some extra computation you are doing some extra computation why what extra one is that you are selecting the random hash function you are selecting the random hash function or every time for every element you are using the different hash function then you are calculating the index right so some some extra computation you are doing and because of that reason it it, it is bit expensive it is bit expensive and what it is saying that it can be computationally expensive to generate the large number of hash function why say large number of hash function it means that it will be tough if it is if, if it is a large number of hash function is big we said that a large prime number we have taken that much hash function we have so for that that time it is bit expensive and another is saying that while selecting the random element do careful while selection of the uh, hash function so can you two element will not get same index if it is two element is getting same index then what's the difference between the linear probing and uh, inversal hashing so because of that that's also the disadvantage they are saying that while selecting the random element please get do careful so can the two element will not get the same index third one is saying that it is not suitable for all data set if it is your data set is unpredictable that uh, complex that we cannot predict so for that set of data set might be possible that the inversal hashing is not going to support so this is the disadvantage three disadvantage of the inversal hashing i have explained here there are many disadvantage also there that i have not mentioned here three is enough for understanding that now we see that the advantage what is the advantage advantage is that first advantage is that that's reducing the number of collision because of that degree of high degree of the randomness because here for every element you are selecting the random hash function and because of that reason you are not getting the same index and because of that reason the number of collision is reduced so you can say that the high degree of the randomness in the selection of the hash function which reduce the number of collision because of high degree of randomness it's reduce the number of collision and another is saying that it is simple to implement yes it's very simple to implement because you are selecting the random index and you are calculating the index and you are storing it because here collision concept is not coming because every day you are getting the random hash function and for random hash function you are getting the random uh, different index and you are simply storing the elements because of that reason saying that it's a simple to implement and can be used a wide variety so back there are so many uh, application of the inversal hashing for so many application of the inversal hashing and another is saying that it's a high degree of the flexibility for easy modification yeah for easily easy modification of the family of the hash function it's a high degree of the flexible it's a very flexible to change the hash function uh, to optimize the performance of the fx uh, specific data set so this is the advantage of the inversal hashing that's all about the inversal hashing thank you for watching my video